guys welcome or welcome back to my channel S Chemistry my name is Sonil and today I'm going to share with you all the different questions which were asked to me for the post of an academic specialist in the subject science at Bajus. This video I will only be discussing about how the interview went as in the questions which were asked to me. I wouldn't really be talking about the entire process that uh, did get me the slot to have my interview or what were the things required before the interview and overall like you know uh, things uh, that you have to know with respect to the interview all of those things i'm not going to discuss but if you guys are interested then comment down below and i will make another video on that topic as soon as possible but for now i'm only going to focus on the different questions which were asked to me during the interview so let's get started basically the interview had three uh, sections like three parts were there for the post of an academic specialist and I had applied for a full-time post like a full-time academic specialist and in the subject science so I knew that the questions would be with respect to science uh, which is further divided into like biology uh, physics and then uh, chemistry. Overall interview was like uh, divided into three sections or into three parts. The first one was like a personal question and answer section wherein I was asked uh, roughly three questions and the second one was obviously the demo delivery like you had to present a live demo and the third one was the technical or the question and answer related to the subject that is related to science uh, topics. So in the first section for the personal Q&A round, I was basically asked to introduce myself. So that was the very first question, uh, like tell me something about yourself or introduce yourself, okay? Uh, the second question was why do you want to work for Baiju's? Like what is your personal reason to work for Baiju's? And the third question was, uh, are you familiar with the expectations or the responsibilities of the role of an academic specialist in science? So these particular things, that is the responsibilities or expectations uh, from an academic specialist I had gone through their website so I was aware of that like what are the responsibilities as a teacher as an academic specialist what are you supposed to do so all of those things I had already read so I could answer that uh, uh, properly and the first one was introduction second one each person will have their own reasons why do they want to work for by choose uh, why did they apply for the post of an academic specialist and the third one is obviously in general what are the responsibilities uh, of an academic specialist at Baijus. After this, I started with my live demo uh, for the interview and uh, my live demo uh, was basically like verbally. So I don't think you can use any presentation to deliver your demo during the interview. So I also didn't use like pen paper or anything such. I had verbally given the demo. So that was the second section of the uh, interview. And the third section, and I know most of you are interested in that part, what were the different questions which were asked to me. So I'm only going to talk about the questions for now. If you all want the answers for these questions, then comment down below. I will come up with another video soon. And uh, I don't remember exactly all of the questions which were asked, but uh, a few here and there I might have missed. I'm not really sure. And as I said, the questions are from physics, uh, biology, and from uh, chemistry. So randomly, I have uh, like... I have written them down so I'm just going to tell you guys what the questions were. So randomly I'm going to mention the questions to you all. I don't remember like the exact order as such. So one question which was asked to me was uh, based on rancidity like explain rancidity or like define rancidity and one thing uh, that I experienced was basically when they ask you questions or when you asked a question it is not about how you can correctly answer the question. The post is for teaching right so it is always advisable that whatever explanation you are putting up uh, you should explain the answer like you are actually teaching in a class okay not just give the definition you have to like explain it uh, like how you would explain it otherwise to a kid who is maybe studying in the 8th, 9th or uh, 10th standard okay so first uh, question that I can remember of is rancidity so that was one thing explain rancidity uh, another question that I was asked was uh, like uh, what is the difference between antibodies and antigen okay so what what are antibodies and what are antigens like what are the differences between the, the uh, these two then another question was uh, define atmospheric pressure like what is atmospheric uh, pressure i was also asked like suppose you have a mixture of crude oils like impure oils how would you separate them into individual components okay so you have a mixture given and how would you separate these uh, oils okay then i was also asked like uh, define or explain the male reproductive 
part of a flower okay so a flower's male uh, like the reproductive part uh, with respect to plants that was also a question and there was a question that why is there a difference in the gravitational pull uh, on earth and on moon then i was asked like uh, define uh, valence uh, electrons and valency or like what is again the difference between valency and uh, valence electrons there was also a question on uh, why uh, milk of magnesia is used as an antacid like what basically happens so you just have to talk about the neutralization reaction and all but why milk of magnesia uh, which is magnesium hydroxide is used as an uh, antacid then like i was also asked a reaction between metal oxide and uh, an acid like what are the products like you know metal oxide and acid when you react them together what are the products and one more question that i can remember of is uh, why is sodium stored in kerosene or why isn't uh, sodium stored in water or open in the air why do you have to store it in kerosene so i think around 10 questions i remember and they had also asked me some questions uh, like initially with respect to the demo delivery with the demo lesson that i had taught uh, and that's it i think yeah around 10 questions i could remember of the rest i cannot but yeah so these were the questions which i faced in uh, the interview uh mine since my subject was chemistry majorly most of them were based uh on chemistry itself so that's it for today i hope uh this video is helpful to you guys if you all are um preparing for your interview for the post of an academic specialist at my juice and yeah uh, if you guys did like the video give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos keep watching s chemistry bye bye